Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing another Normal Girl Reviews. These are my review videos um, that I post because I am a normal girl trying out products for women or men in the real world, working nine to fives, living out in the suburbs, no fillers, lots of textured skin, acne scarring, wrinkles, no plastic surgery or anything like that. I do occasionally get Botox, but I am just like you guys. So today we are talking about Jaclyn Hill again. Last time I reviewed her um, blush and bronzer duo. Um, this is in Pink Me Up and Oh Honey. If you want to see my review of this, I will link it right above here. And I do have a little review of her highlighters in there. Um, I have this palette from her... Um, holiday collection it was like holidays 2019 i believe um but she did come out with the um individuals of those highlighters with these guys as well so go check that out so today we are talking about her pout spoken collection it's a collection of lip liners and liquid lipsticks which I'm kind of pissed at myself for ordering two liquid lipsticks because I never wear them anymore. I have a lot of lines in my lips and I don't have filler, which kind of gets rid of the lines, makes lip products look so smooth and great. So matte liquid lipsticks like show off every single wrinkle or line that I have on my lips and it looks pretty bad. So I just spent a lot of money on products that I might not even use. I don't know. If they're really, really good, then I'll probably put a balm on underneath. But we are going to test them just as matte liquid lipstick. So the liquid lips retail for $20 a piece and the lip liners are 18 and that's all pretty expensive. That's one thing that's being talked about a lot is these are expensive products. For this, I kind of understood because the packaging is like freaking A plus fantastic and these products are made and baked in Italy. Um, so I kind of understand that when it comes to a liquid lipstick and a lip liner, that's pricey. I feel like a lot doesn't really go into these, but then also you do have to remember that she doesn't completely own her brand. She is part of a bigger umbrella brand. So they also have a say on price points and stuff like that as well. So just keep that in mind. Also, when checking out for these, I had no problem. I went on the website right when these launched. I was able to grab what I wanted and I was kind of looking through to see like if anything had sold out so far. Everything was available. I clicked checkout and I was done. Like I checked out super, super fast. I did use PayPal, I believe, which does help in the process. But I know some people were having issues with her checkout and complaining and saying it was a failed launch. I personally didn't have a problem with these lips or the face products, but I know people did and that still sucks. So I am not a Jaclyn Hill stan. Yes, I like to try these products just because I think it's something that's interesting. Um, I am interested in these and I think a lot of people are as well, so that's why I got them. She has messed up in the past, especially with lipsticks, and you know, I hold her accountable to that. So I'm not just like a stan that's here to tell you, oh, it's amazing, everything's so great about her. So don't come for me. But let's open these up and try them out. So the um, liner I got is Blondie. I got Ojai oh Liquid Lipstick, which is a nude, like pink color, and then Empowered, which is more of like a peachy nude or more like skin colored nude. So we are gonna open these up, put my mirror right here. So let's go with Blondie first, obviously. So this is the packaging, very clean and pretty. I really like this, very reminiscent of Kylie Cosmetics, but like everybody's doing those these days. Taking off my lip balm. So Manny MUA said that he had a lot of cracking. And yeah, I have cracking too. But he said that's also just because of the way the it like goes into the component, but it doesn't like affect anything at all. Everything seems to be A-OK. -okay. This is a sharpenable pencil. It's not a twist up. 
All right, let's do this. Okay, just like a nude. So that is the lip liner. I kind of filled it in a little bit, not all the way. I like this color. I think it's really pretty. Um, the thing that worries me though is I do have a tan on right now. Um, kind of, it's like, it's, it's all over the place right now. I'm trying out new tanners for you guys. Um, but this is a good color for me right now. When I'm super, super pale, this is not a good color for me. So I kind of worry about the people who are very fair. I don't think there's a lip liner there for them, especially one to kind of go with her palest color of um, the liquid lipstick. I know she said she didn't wanna like do matchy matchy, but I think something below this so that the pale people have something to work with. I see the pale people like, like that's a derogatory term. The fair ladies and gents out there, which I am one of them, but I mask it with fake tanner. Okay, so let's go in with Oh Hi first. I feel like this will match the lip liner the best. So opening this up, I do have some cracking. You see like two cracks, but that is totally fine. I like that this is longer and slim. I like the packaging a lot, the ombre, the Jaclyn in the rose gold, gorgeous. Says the color on the bottom. Oh my God, I love this scent. It's a very good vanilla scent, something I haven't smelled in a lip product before. It's very rich. It's like vanilla extract, like you're baking cookies. Oh my God, I really like it. Okay, so let's go in. Okay, so the way that people described it before was super, super liquidy. Uh, I definitely have had like more liquidy liquid lipsticks in my life. This color, I am not so sure about. It is like super drastic around the edges, so I'm gonna try and go in and soften things up. Okay, so there we go is comfortable it's still drying down right now let's see let's see what i think it is pretty pale for me right now for sure i don't know if you can see it but like all of my lines are exaggerated this is kind of giving me like pure hollywood by anastasia beverly hill vibes i think i would like it if i went really heavy with the lip liner and then just took a little bit of this and just dabbed it instead of doing a complete application, but definitely doing a complete application for this video so that you guys get a sense of what it's like to have it all over the lips. So it doesn't feel like it's completely dried down and it doesn't feel like it will. It is comfortable, but I can see it in the future right here doing the whole like white thing, which is very annoying. Let's do a kiss test. Okay, so a lot of that is going to be the lip liner that I put on top, but I don't think it is kiss proof. Let's do it one more time. Yeah, so this is oh hi. After doing that and then licking my lips, it kind of feels a little uncomfortable. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not necessarily a fan. So as of right now, so let's take this off and let's do empowered. That's the one I'm the most excited about. That was the easiest liquid lipstick to get off. That is for sure. So let me just use this again. I do like this lip liner a lot. Oh God, my makeup looks so crazy. I'm, get, I'm just back from work. So it's been on all day. Yeah, I really like this lip liner. It's good. Okay, so Empowered. 
let's try this by just dabbing just a little bit. This is definitely more brown. Okay, this I definitely like. I like the whole dabbing thing. I think because it is more of a liquidy formula than like a thick mousse, it's easier to apply that way. So that is what Empowered looks like. Still getting all the lines and stuff like that, which is annoying but that's what's going to happen with a product like this what do you guys think i like this combination a lot of empowered and blondie i think it looks good i like it okay so just for s and giggles let's just go in like normal okay so this is what it looks like if you just have the entire lip covered not that bad but i do like the other way better i love this color i think it is perfect for me sorry i keep looking down here because this is where my monitor is and it's just easier for me to see in there yeah i like this color a lot i think it really suits me i knew that it would still looking real dry let's try the kiss test okay to be fair i did just put it on but it is feeling um dried down like as much as it could be and it feels pretty comfortable i wouldn't want to wear this all day though because i still find um matte products to be super uncomfortable especially right now i'm going through a phase where my skin is so freaking dry so this is no bueno for me one last thing I want to do is oh hi with the dabbing motion. So I will be right back. Okay guys, I am back. I do like this better than the first go around. I do like this color. I think it is great, super pretty. So I am very impressed with the colors. I really like this formula. This formula is so, so for me. I'm just really not into liquid lipsticks anymore, but I want to put a gloss over this. My makeup is so messed up over here. And get this a little juicy, just like a gloss or a lipstick. I think that is so pretty. Okay, I like that. I think these are very nice. I'm happy with the colors I got very happy with my lip liner do i think this is all worth what it is priced at absolutely not even the lip liner so you can get a kylie lip liner for i think like 12 bucks very very similar formula very similar packaging um so yes but i do like this and i like the color as well also kylie does have a ton of nudes like i'm looking at my lip liner little bucket right now and i have so many nude colors in there so you definitely could go for that but if you want to support jacqueline or try this color out go for that one thing i did think was really cool is she had a shimmery lip liner i've never really seen that before hey guys so my footage got corrupted so i lost the very end of my video so to pick up where i left off when it comes to the actual liquid lips do i think they are worth the money no, not necessarily. If you are a fan of liquid lipsticks, then maybe you would be interested in trying these out. And at that point, I would say it's worth it. I, um, I wouldn't say I regret getting these. I just don't see myself using them all the time. Like some of my tried and true lipsticks, I did like them with the clear gloss over top. So I think that's definitely how I'm going to wear them. They were super, super pretty. I'm not wearing anything now. My lips were like destroyed. So I put some lip balm on. Um, but I don't see myself buying these in the future, but Overall, I thought it was a good experience. They are pretty, so I'm happy when it comes to that. With Jacqueline, congrats on this launch. Even though it's not for me, there are people out there that do love liquid lipsticks, and I think this will be great for them. It is pricey, but 
a lot of the times people are willing to spend money to try things that they're super interested in. So those are my final thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.